great deal of speed in the offense and uh, uh, grit and determination. He's got a pretty well-rounded player. Uh, you know, um, obviously he was a, a big big acquisition for us. I mean, it was something that we we identified and, and went after because uh, his type of player that we're looking for here in our lineup. But, you know, he was he came in and had a good year for us last year. Um, coming off of missing training camp and, uh, you know, uh, coming, coming out of a situation that, uh, you know, wasn't a great one at the time. So we expect him to, to take another step forward this year with, uh, he had a terrific summer of training. He stayed in Montreal all summer and trained hard. And, uh, there's, a you know, he seems like a focused young, uh, a focused, uh, player ready to come into the season. I think with training camp under his belt, I think he'll be further ahead. Yeah, in his hockey sense, really. I mean, uh, you know, Stromer has a knack um, for being at the right place at the right time. I and mean, he, he seems to think a play ahead. He knows where to go on the ice. So, uh, you know, again, he's another summer of training for him. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a very big uh, guy. And, uh, you know, sometimes it takes just a little bit longer for these players to find their stride. But certainly we feel like he's uh, coming fit and ready to play this year. And, uh uh, you know, continue to develop with uh, with our program, and uh, I know Philadelphia. I think got a steal, uh, you know, with Matthew where they did end up getting him. Yeah, uh, and, and a well-rounded player. I mean, uh, he really is a two, solid 200-foot player, and uh, you know, brings a lot of elements to our group. He can play center, he can play the wing, play on the, our power play, penalty kill. Um, you know, and uh, he's uh, he's got great hockey sense, and he's a winner. I mean, he's uh, you know, along with Strom, those. Those young men learned how to win, and uh, you know they're hungry for for more. I know the entire group was disappointed with uh, you know the end of the last season, but uh, I think these two guys really took it to heart. And uh, you know, um, as far as a young core with leadership, you know, at Whistle and Strom, but certainly they're uh, they're they're chomping at the bit to kind of take that next step. You know, when you look at our depth on defense, when you got uh, uh, you know we have six, uh, I guess we call veteran guys. You know. Uh, Riley Webb missed some time due to injury, so he hasn't played a lot of games. But uh, you know he's a 99 now, and uh, uh, adding McCourt to the mix for our group this year. Um, you know we really have we have six veteran guys, and uh, and McCourt coming in as well. And you know Stephen Templeton can play defense and forward for us. So um, you know we love our depth all all across the board, and uh, I think that's created a real competitive camp and driven guys to come in and. Uh, and really be prepared. So, um, yeah, that, that certainly the depth on our back end is a uh, field asset for us. Yeah, no, highly competitive, no doubt. I think there's, uh, uh, you know, there's more teams on the East that have taken a step forward, and we feel like it's going to be highly competitive. And, uh, um, you know, we, we like our group for sure. We uh, we have a lot of confidence in this group moving forward. Uh, but we certainly know that it's not going to be easy in the East this year.